Longtime viewers of this channel know full well that I love the Adidas Ultra Boost Silhouette. I like the 1.0, I like the 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, though I am not a fan of the 2019. I grabbed the OG colorway and then quickly sold it. Just wasn't a fan. But having a lot of Ultra Boost doesn't mean I just keep buying all of them. In fact, I've grown more picky because I have so many. Got a lot of triple whites, triple blacks, etc. In order for me to buy a new Ultra Boost, it has to be a collab, a consortium, some sort of exclusive, have a wacky, awesome, distinct, unique colorway. And when I saw the pictures for this latest colorway come out, I knew I had to have it, not only because it was a Japanese exclusive, but because the colorway used on top of the white base, but still, I knew that this was a shoe I had to have, so I went out and got it. Today, we're gonna talk about the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Japan Fireworks. Fireworks are a beloved part of Japanese culture, and to many, sneakers are too. So Adidas has combined the country's affection for pyrotechnics and footwear to create a brand new Ultra Boost 4.0 with explosive detailing. The shoe's clean white prime knit upper offers a stark background to the bold multicolor firework graphic that graces each foot's lateral heel, exploding all the way up to the collar and trickling down over the white heel clip. Another firework graphic is present on the medial midfoot as well, erupting behind the white leather midfoot cage. Although not too bright, the artwork is bright enough to catch the eye. Finishing touches of country-specific style are provided by Japanese flag graphics on each tongue and a red Tokyo hit on the insole. A signature white Ultra Boost midsole and continental rubber outsole complete the look. The Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Japan Fireworks released exclusively at Japanese retailers on August 30th, 2019 and retailed for 20,000 JPY or approximately 188 US American dollars. At this point, you probably know all there is to know about the nuts and bolts about the Ultra Boost silhouette. The white, thick Ultra Boost midsole, the prime knit upper in the 4.0 pattern, it's basically a triple white shoe, except for the little details that I really love. It's got that white leather nylon-like material used for the cage, for the heel cup heel counter, but then that splash of color, that explosion, that popping of fireworks that starts on the lateral heel cup and just oozes all over the heel area as well as the middle of the foot. The Ultra Boost branding is in white stamped on top of that, and you will also find white flat laces, and the Japanese flag graphics on both shoes on the tongue, which is connected to the one piece prime knit upper. You will find a similar fireworks explosion graphic on the medial side of the shoe underneath the cage, and it sticks out towards the toe box as well as the ankle. As far as I'm concerned, this Ultra Boost fits like a normal Ultra Boost 4.0. To me, that's true to size, which is a size nine. However, I would say whatever you wear, you should do that. If you have to go up, go up, if go down, go down. But to me, true to size is the way to go. I didn't buy this shoe only because it's Japanese exclusive. I bought it because I think the materials used are high quality, I love the color, and I don't have a shoe that is all white but has this kind of, is there another word for explosion? I just keep using that word. Explosion of color like this. It's cool. I don't care that it's after Labor Day, I'm gonna wear this white shoe no matter what. It's Austin, Texas, it's hot till November. I'm gonna wear this shoe at New Year's. I'm gonna wear this shoe in the 4th of July. I'm gonna wear this shoe anywhere or anytime that fireworks are appropriate, whether they're provided or whether I'm the one that's providing the fireworks. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this colorway. I think it's hot, I think it's cool. It's a really good shoe. As all these reviews tend to mention, if this shoe came out last year or two years ago, it would be going for blah, blah, blah on resale. Yes, if you want this shoe, you have to pay resale, but it's only gonna be like 50 to $70 on resale sites, depending on your shoe size. Yes, the hype has died down, but to me that doesn't matter because this shoe is enough hype for me and my personal collection. And when you're a collector, no matter what it is, well, collections are just different from person to person. To me, I love this shoe, regardless of what little or what big hype it may have. I'm glad to have it. I'm gonna rock it. I love it. Hey, sneaker collectors, we collect what we like, right? And I wear what I collect, so I can't wear to rock this shoe. And to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.